I'm speaking about our youth, the youth in our families, the youth in our communities. We have both St. Peter from Kaiser Young Life to pray for the youth of our community. Bo and the Young Life crew have done tremendous work with our students, our young people throughout the years, encouraging them in good choices and making commitments to serve and to get beyond themselves and to help them be the kind of adults that are going to lead our nation into the future. Hi. Um, when I saw the list of people that were praying, I loved that I came right after Randy Butler. Um, many years ago, I was reading through Philippians, and I was struggling because Paul just seemed so dang arrogant in that book. And I was like, how can this arrogant guy be in the Bible like this? And so Randy came up, and I started asking a ton of questions, and through uh, a long conversation, I ended up loving Paul. Um, and he says, we need more Pauls in the world. And as he gets up and walks away, he smacks me in the shoulder and he says, see you later, Paul. And, and I loved it. I, I was not Paul. I am not Paul. Um, but what he was doing was speaking life into me and, and was helping me see things I didn't quite see yet. And one thing I love, too, is this morning. Oh, so thank you, Randy. I appreciate you. Uh, but today I brought two high schoolers that I fully believe in, Tanner Gordon and Angelica over there. We call them Tango and Gels. Um, but I absolutely believe in them. They're awesome. And that's what they need is us to come around them as the youth. So let's pray for our youth. We're all going to have so much to think about today and reflect upon and be thankful. I am thankful for all of you. You have breathed hope, encouragement, challenges, and inspiration into my life and I hope into the lives of one another. We're going to take that from here and take it out into our community and continue to bless one another with our faith and the love that we have to share. To close us out today in, in prayer is Clint Holland. He is a longtime volunteer in our community. He uh, has a professional career as well, although some of us think he's professionally volunteering to care for our community. Thank you, Clint, for helping us close out this wonderful morning. Thank you all for being a part of this. Clint. Good morning. Good morning. And a great morning it is. I'm going to do something a little different this morning, um, and I hope you'll bear with me. I'm going to sing part of this prayer with a short prayer in between and another short song afterwards. So bear with me. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son to die on Calvary Street from sin to set me free. Someday he's coming back. What a glorious day it'll be. Wonderful, wonderful his love for me. God did so love the world. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this gathering of friends, loved ones. Guide us in the path as we go forward in life. And dear Heavenly Father, bless us food today to the betterments of our bodies so that we may go on in life and do the things that we were put on earth to do. Jesus died upon the cross to bear our sorrow, freely died so men like me can have new life. But I know that someday'll come a bright tomorrow when the world will all be free from sin and strife. Jesus did die on the cross for us. Thank you. Amen, I believe. Let's go forth and take this light into the world. Thank you all for being a part of this today. Thank you for your service to your community. And thank you for being here today.